Hello everyone, welcome to Wall Street Mojo. To know more about this video, financial ratios, watch the video till the end. And if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone and welcome to the topic of financial ratios. Well, uh, on a quick uh, note, let me just uh, give you what exactly we are going to learn. As you can see over here, we have uh, a complete chart of so you can see there's liquidity ratio, turnover ratio, operating profit, uh, profitability ratio, business risk ratio, financial ratios, stability, coverage for the interest purpose. So this will be a short summary or a snapshot of what we are going to do today. All this are the head points or the head ratios and below that are all the uh, type of ratios under that particular head. Like, you know, for example, liquidity has current quick absolute and cash ratio and so on and so forth. We are going to study for the rest. So let's begin. Remember one thing that, you know, financial ratios are the key indicators of the financial performance of, of the company and are usually derived from the three statements that includes your balance sheet, PNL, and cash flow statement. So these financial ratios will help in analyzing the company's profitability, liquidity, assume the risk as well as the financial uh, stability. Now we are going to study the list of the top 28 of financial ratios with formula and types. Okay, let's begin. There are few types of the list of the financial ratios. We'll start with how about the first one is uh, we will try and uh, look at the liquidity ratios. Okay, in that, in the liquidity ratio, this is the first type. Uh, below in, in that, you know, the first type of the financial ratios is a liquidity ratio. And there's, this basically aims to determine, you know, the ability of the business to meet its financial obligation. It can be short term or probably to maintain its short term debt paying ability. So liquidity ratios can be calculated by multiple ways. Let's uh, begin with uh, the first one within the same. Uh, first is the current ratio. Okay. Now, current ratio is basically uh, is a working capital ratio or it's a basically a banker's ratio and the current ratio expresses the relationship between the relationship of a current assets uh, to current uh, liabilities. Now, the current ratio formula is current assets CA divided by current liabilities. Okay, and a company's current ratio can be compared with the past current ratios. So this will help to determine if the current ratio is high or low at this uh, period of time the ratio will be one and um, is considered to be idle that is current ratios are twice of the current liability then no issue it will be good in repaying the liability and if the ratio is uh, less than two repayment of the liability will be difficult and works uh, effects worst effects can be seen the second uh, is you know the asset test ratio the quick ratio now the current ratio is generally used to evaluate an enterprise overall's a short term solvency or liquidity position. But what happens many a times it is desirable to know the more immediate position or probably the instant debt paying ability of a firm. Then that indicated by the current ratio or for the asset test of the financial ratio is used. So it is related to the most liquid assets uh, to the current liabilities. The formula is basically what we call as the, the quick assets. Okay. Divided by the the current liabilities well that's the formula of a quick ratio the third one is the absolute liquidity ratio now what is the absolute liquidity ratio so when we talk about the absolute liquidity ratio it helps to calculate the actual liquidity and that the inventory and the receivables are excluded from the current assets. So for a better view of liquidity, some assets are excluded. They may not represent the current cash flow. Ideally, the ratio is calculated 1 is to 2. So the absolute liquidity is equal to your cash plus marketable securities plus the net receivables and datas. Then comes the fourth one as the cash ratios. Well, uh, the cash ratio is useful for the company who is undergoing the financial trouble. The formula goes as cash plus uh, marketable securities divided by your current liabilities. Now, if this ratio is high, then it reflects the underutilization of the resources. 
And if the ratio is low, then it can lead to problem in the repayment of the bills. Well, this was the type of the liquidity ratio. The second type is the what we call as the turnover uh, ratios or the turnover financial ratios. Uh, when we talk about the turnover financial ratios, the second this second type of the financial ratio analysis is the turnover ratio. And the turnover ratio is also known as the activity ratio. This type of uh, ratio indicates the efficiency with which an enterprise resources are utilized. Like for each asset type, financial research can be calculated separately. Okay. We will start with in the activity ratio. Uh, that is your turnover financial ratio. We will start with the inventory turnover ratios. Now these financial measures, uh, this financial ratio measures the relative size of the inventory and the influences. So the amount of the cash available to pay the liabilities. So the inventory turnover ratio formula is equal to the cost of goods sold COGS divided by the average inventory. Okay. Well, the next one in the in the same turnover financial ratio is the data uh, turnover ratio. So this is basically the receivable turnover ratio. It shows how many times the receivable was turned into cash during the period. And the next is the capital turnover ratios. Well, the capital turnover ratio measures the effectiveness with which the firm uses the financial ratio. So the capital turnover ratio is is basically the net sales that is the cost of goods sold COGS divided by the capital employed. The fourth is the asset turnover ratio. Well, the financial ratio reveals uh, the number of the times the net tangible assets are turned over during the year. Higher the ratio is better. So the asset turnover ratio formula is basically your turnover divided by the uh, what we call as the net tangible asset. Then comes uh, you know the net working capital ratio in the same net working capital ratio turnover ratio so this financial ratio uh, indicates whether or not the working capital has been uh, effectively utilized in making the sale so the net working capital signifies the excess of the current assets over current liabilities the net working capital is equal to the net sales divided by the net working capital well the next one goes as six one the cash conversion cycle now what is this so the cash conversion cycle is the total limit or the time taken by the firm to convert his cash outflow into cash inflows so the cash conversion cycle formula is equal to the receivable days plus the inventory days less the payable days so this were the types of all the turnover or the activity ratios the third is the operating profitability ratios well this the third type of the financial ratio analysis is the operating profitability ratio and the profitability ratio basically helps to measure the profitability of the company through the efficiency of the business activity it goes uh, something like this the first one is the earning margin now earning margin it is the ratio of the net income turnover express in percentage so it refers to the final net profit that is used so that the formula goes something like this the net income divide by the turnover into 100 okay second is your return on capital employed or return on the investments so this financial me ratio measures the profitability in relation to the total capital that is employed in the business enterprise uh, the formula is basically the return on investment the ROI is equal to the profit before interest and tax okay divided by the total capital employed okay the third formula 
is uh, the return on uh, equity it's called the return on equity roe is a short form now return on equity is derived by taking the net income divided by its shareholders equity so it provides a return which management is real realizing from the shareholders equity so the return on uh, equity formula returns i'll just write roe is equal to the profit after tax that is your pat minus the preference dividend divided by the ordinary uh, shareholders equity fund and uh, that will be multiplied by 100 the next one is your uh, eps which is also known as earning per share eps is derived by derived by dividing the profit of the company by the total number of shares outstanding it means you know the eps is equal to uh, your earning after tax less the preference dividend divided by the the number of uh, ordinary shares so the investor uses all the above ratios before investing and makes the maximum profit and analyzes the risk though the ratio it is easy for him to compare and predict the future growth of the company it is also it also simplifies the uh, financial statement well let's go for the fifth one that is uh, before we go next we have another type that is fourth one the business risk ratios now what is the business risk see this is the fourth type of the financial ratio analysis and is the business risk ratio so here we measure how sensitive is the company's earning with respect to its fixed cost as well as the assumed debt on the balance sheet well in that the first one that we have is the operating leverage so the operating leverage is basically the percentage change in the operating profit relative to its sales so it measures how sensitive the operating income is to basically the change in the revenues now greater the use of the fixed assets uh, greater will be the impact of the change in the sales in operating income the formula goes something like this is the operating ol leverage is equal to uh, the percentage change in ebit divided by the uh, percentage change you can change in sales the next is called the financial uh, ratio okay when we talk about financial ratios financial leverage is the percentage change in the net profit related to its operating profit and it measures how sensitive the income is to the change in the operating income so the financial leverage primarily originates from the company's financial decision that is the use of the debt so the financial leverage formula is equal to the percentage change in net income divided by the percentage change in EBIT okay the next one is uh, the total leverage now the total leverage is the percentage change in the net profit relative to its sales so the total leverage measures how sensitive the net income is to the change in the sales so the total leverage formula goes something like this is equal to the percentage change in net profit divided by the percentage change in sales the next in our list fifth one is the financial risk ratio now which kind of ratios are financial risk ratio so this is the fifth type of the financial risk analysis in the financial risk ratio and here we measure how leverage is the company and how it is placed with respect to its debt repayment some of the ratios are like the debt equity ratio which measures it's basically your long-term debt divided by the short-term funds and it helps to measure the extent of the equity to repay its debt so it is used for the long-term calculation in that the second one is the interest uh, coverage ratio one of the very important ratio that is used now these financial signifies the ability to form to pay interest on the assumed debt so the interest coverage formula is basically uh, what we call as the EBITDA uh, divided by the interest expense now higher the interest coverage ratio implies greater the ability of the firm to pay its interest and if the interest coverage is less than one then the EBITDA is not sufficient to pay off the interest which implies finding other ways to arrange the funds uh the next thing that we are going to discuss is the stability 
uh, ratios. Uh, this is the six type. What kind of stability ratios are there? First is the uh, fixed asset ratio. Now this ratio is used to know whether the company is having sufficient fun, funds or not to meet the long term business need. And the formula is the fixed assets divided by the capital employed. Uh, the idle is 0 0.67. If the ratio is less than one, then it can be used for purchase of fixed assets. The next type is in the same category is the ratio to current asset. Uh, sorry, current asset to fixed asset ratio. And now the formula for the ratio to current asset to fixed asset is uh, current asset divided by the fixed asset ratio. And if the ratio uh basically increases the profit increases and the reflects the business and is basically expanding let me quickly run you through the some of the type of the coverage ratio now the type of the coverage ratio that you can use is like fixed interest cover fixed dividend cover okay so those are the kind of the coverage ratios that can be used then you have the control financial uh ratios analysis and it includes like capacity ratios, activity ratios, and uh, efficiency ratio, which is basically your standard hours for the actual production rate by the actual hours. So I hope you guys have got a fantastic idea regarding this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Thank you once again, everyone.